Welcome back crew to Don't Do It Tuesdays, and today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that's boat handling around the boat dock. And we'll go over a few basic rules and a few tips and tricks that might help you learn to handle your vessel just a little better. And of course, we'll start with the golden rule, and rule number one, when handling a vessel around anything, never approach anything any faster than you're willing to hit it because let's be honest inevitably in boating you're eventually going to hit something and at least if you're following that golden rule when that incident occurs it probably isn't going to be so bad now the next piece of advice i would give to somebody especially if you're a new boater wanting to learn the ropes around the docks and about how to approach things with your vessel is going to be don't do it at the marina. That's right, practice does make perfect, but doing it at the boat ramp or the marina is probably not the ideal situation. In fact, many times I would recommend to people, if you've got a big enough open waterway that maybe has some markers or buoys somewhere, practice around those buoys, especially if there's no danger that you know of around the buoy, maybe it's just marking a deeper part of the channel. At least then if you lightly tap the buoy, you're not going to have any issues. Now, if you don't have anything like this on your waterway, that's okay. Go ahead and grab one of your fenders attach an anchor of some kind to it, toss in about 10 foot of water, and use that. Just make sure you watch your prop and you don't get it caught in the lines. And once again, the reason you would do this is because hitting a fender is going to be a whole lot less catastrophic than making a major mistake as you try and practice around a fixed dock. Now, one of the next biggest key mistakes I see people make when they first get into boating is they try and treat a boat like a car but it's not the same at all. Obviously a car is driving on fixed pavement and it's got good grip the whole time. Well, the boat doesn't, it doesn't really have any brakes and it's also moving on a fluid surface. The surface itself is moving due to wind and current. And of course your vessel is obviously going to be affected by wind and current as well, meaning you're not going to have the same control over the boat as you would a car on pavement. So one of the biggest keys you need to learn from that is again practice learning how your vessel will handle different situations. Every approach on the dock is going to be different because the situation's not always going to be exactly the same. So the more you practice at the maneuvers and how your boat reacts to different currents, winds and things like that, the better you're gonna be behind the helm. But the next biggest piece of advice I would give anybody, don't panic. We see too many people get themselves into a little bit of trouble. The next thing we know, they think they're gonna whiskey throttle their way out of it and things go wrong from there. So whatever you do, just make sure you stay calm and cool. Try and keep your head about you because typically, again, you never want to approach anything any faster than you're willing to hit it. Whiskey throttling is definitely not going to give you that advantage. But let me know what your favorite tips you would give a new boater around the dock are. Another good one, always have some fenders out. Obviously, this guy didn't take that advice either. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Don't Do It Tuesdays. You ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways? Be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know when you might see your stories over here. Just like Brooke. Derek and Captain Tim Tong did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.